I want to talk about a picture that dominated social media all last night and well into today. We aren't going to show the picture to you because the two girls are minors, but they snapped a selfie of themselves in blackface and then called themselves the N word. The girls attend the affluent Walt Whitman Senior High School in Bethesda, Maryland, and according to a parent, they have been suspended from school for one week. Their principal is calling the picture unacceptable. But in the year 2019, we're forced to recognize the students' actions, and they've been met with hurt and consequences all around. We're fortunate to have several guests from Walt Whitman, the Walt Whitman family joining us to discuss this right now. James Omari is one of the teachers at the school. Thanks for joining us. Also, we've got Zoe and Maddie, both ninth graders. Everybody, thanks for joining us. I want to start with the girls. Tell me what you thought of this, what you know of the situation right now with, with the two girls who did it and what's going on at the school. Well, from what I feel, we were both very shocked at what they posted. You know, we used to be like really close friends with the two girls. We counted them as like family and we were just hurt that they even thought to post something like that on yeah. social media. Yeah. Was it a thoughtless gesture in your mind or, or did, did they really know what they were doing? I thought that they considered it to be a joke and I don't think they realized that it wasn't funny. And us um, students at Women were taking this seriously and were very hurt about what happened, especially because of the derogatory term that they used in the post and posing in blackface. Yeah, I know they use that word in, in, in the music, okay? But it's not acceptable, even to the young people, right? You don't use, use that kind yeah, of word? Yeah, no. Okay. Um, what, what's the atmosphere at the school right now? Wait, between white, black students, Hispanic students, what, what's the atmosphere? It's, there's a lot of white students at Whitman. I feel like, um, personally, I feel like uh, everyone sticks to their own group in a way. Um, you know, there's only, uh, from a study, there's only 5% blacks uh, in Whitman. So mm -hmm. I feel like there's a big strong. And I feel like there's a lot of racial tension at Whit Walt Whitman High School. And as an African-American student in the 4% in the of black students, in this school, I feel I feel like I don't belong, and I feel like a lot of teachers at this school as well don't really understand or try and target what's going on in the situ in situations at the school, or try and and what happens in classrooms with racial jokes mm -hmm. and stereotypes that people throw around at the school. But before we get, get to the teacher, I want to take a look at the breakdown of Whitman's High School in terms of demographics. White students make up close to 67% of the student population. Asians are second with 15%. Hispanics third, a shade under 8%. Black students make up just 4% of the school. Let me turn to the teacher here. How does that perpetuate itself? I mean, I mean, what does that feel like? Well, when I was looking for a place to work in Montgomery County the last time, um, I did end up choosing to go to Whitman High School because I felt like I mean, to be honest with you, I, I feel like I can only speak to my experience as an African-American, whereas speaking to the experience of African-Americans has always been something that's kind of something that I still have to navigate to, right? Okay. But I wanted to go to the school because I felt like if there were kids who could have a role model in a position and see them up front, and then also like for students who are not black, to have someone who has a voice as an African-American talking to them directly about it. I felt like maybe, if, like if you guys are gonna be the movers and shakers in society, I would want you to be able to make decisions. How, 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 how do you help her with her dilemma, her predicament, or can you? Well, first of all, I don't think that I can presume to maybe like pull a student aside and be like, hey, as a black student, how are you feeling, right? But what I can do is if I can create an environment in my classroom and as far throughout the school as I can, where if a student feels like they have a relationship where they can come and talk to me, I need to have my door open. I got it. So what do you think? Um, I think that what you said is correct. You can't pull a student aside and ask them directly. I feel like you can ask, how does the environment feel as a student? Let me, let me know if I'm off base here. Uh, it seems to me to, to, to fix this, you need to, address the nearly 70% white population, not so much the 4%. It's not on them to fix this. What, what are we doing with that nearly 70% white population uh, of, you know, to make them more sensitive? To, to, do they understand what blackface is? Do, do, do they understand that you can't use the N-word? How do we make them more sensitive? Um, personally, I feel that students don't have the back, I mean, they know what blackface, blackface is, but I don't think they have the background information of how 
it made African Americans feel at the time. Right. And I feel like as a school, we should be more educated on that history, that part of history. Yeah, you agree with that? I agree that. And that's on the administration, right? I mean, yes. to fix yes. that, right? Okay. What, what else can they do? Well, I mean, you got them right here. They're watching. I know they're watching out there. Talk, talk to the principal. Talk to the administration. What else can they do? I mean, to help all of the population, you know, the 70% the white, the 4% the black, you know, the Hispanic white, what do they need to do to make sure this doesn't happen again, to make this a teaching moment? Well, I, I do have to say, like, aside from just the administration, right, like you said that it's on the population of 70% and this and that, I think that it's a responsibility that we all have to contribute to this solution. There's, there's an organization at the school called the Minority Scholars Program that's doing some really good work. A young lady named Brianna is like out there. Like we have these conversations in the classes and she comes from a place of immediately. Give me a, give me yeah, a specific, I, I, I like to do the specifics. When you say doing good work, give me a specific. What are they doing to knock down some of the barriers, the lack of communication? What's the organization doing? Can, can anybody help me understand that? Well, actually right now, if I may, uh, yeah. right now MSP is going through the school all this week and like having presentations that they pulled together to address what this we are Whitman yes. sentiment. Yeah, right? parents are looking right now too and they want answers, okay? Parents are talking about pulling their kids out, you know, uh, but, you know, what are they gonna do? What, what do they say to their parents? What can parents do right now? I feel like they could write into Whitman and address how they feel. Um, I feel like they could pull their child aside and have a deep conversation with them about how serious this problem is and that what they post online isn't just private like it it goes right. out to the world right and, and make sure they know the history yes you know, black right. for sure the n-word why that is so hurtful to people 